Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this extruded type animation inspired by Pixrate. As always, a huge shout out to Pixrate for its amazing works and don't forget to check his Instagram, the link is in the description. So now, let's start. So, I'm going to start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it design. The width and height is set on 9020, which is fine. And the frame rate is on 24 frames per second. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards my type tool and I'm going to write the word dope. And I'm using the Tusker Grotesque font and the weight is set on 5700. So let's press Ctrl plus R to bring the ruler. And I'm going to set one in here and the one in here now what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna align the text to the middle and i'm gonna move it down and then i'm gonna create a shape from it and let's delete the text layer because we don't need it anymore and now what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna press ctrl plus alt plus home to set the anchor point to the middle and then what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna press s and then I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to press P to reveal the position property as well. And then I'm going to set a keyframe. I'm going to make the word a bit smaller. And now let's snap it to the uh, guide the layer. And then I'm going to go towards the three seconds. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to move the text a bit up and then I'm going to scale it. To something like this let's set it on 100 okay so we have this animation so that is good now on the next step what I need to do is that I need to create the extrude for this dope board so I'm gonna duplicate this word I'm gonna move it beneath and then I'm gonna call it extrude And in order to create the extrude effect, I'm going to use the echo effect. So let's add the echo effect. And now nothing happened because we need to change the number of echoes. So let's just change it to a higher number, such as like 450. And now if I want to change the color, well, as you see, well, nothing will happen. So we need to add the fill effect manually so i'm going to do that and then let's just change the color to a blackish color like this all right so that seems good now if you have enjoyed this video so far please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot to grow my channel thank you so much now let's continue great now on the next step what i want to do is that i want to create a jumpy text animation with the offset between the dope letter so there are a couple of ways to you know approach these kind of animations you can use the motion tools panel to extract the letters and then you can pre-compose them and offset the letters but this will be quite hard to be honest and the way we are going to approach this animation this time is that we are going to use the essential graphics panel which we'll use to you know set um, to create overlays for premiere things such as overlay titles and so basically the essential graphics which helps you to import the assets to the premiere can help us in this animation so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the composition which is design and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the, for example, the dope outline letter. And then I'm going to go towards the content and in D, I'm going to select the transform. And then I'm going to bring the opacity into the essential graphics panel. So now if I, let's extend this panel a bit. If I change the slider, as you see, it is going to hide the letter. So that is good. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to quickly add the uh, transform opacity of each letter into the essential graphics panel. So this is the E and then I'm going to do the same step for the 
extrude. So here's the O, here's the P, here's the E. All right, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select these two layers and then I'm going to pre-compose it. And then I'm going to duplicate this pre-compose three more times. And this is going to be D letter. This is going to be O letter. And this is going to be P and this is going to be E. So now if I select the layer and if I go towards the properties panel, as you see, the essential properties panel will show in here, or you can have access to it in here. And then I'm going to close this panel because we don't need it anymore. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the opacity for the remaining letters except the D because this is the D letter. Uh, so we'll have now the D letter. Now I'm going to go towards the O. So let's just set the opacity for the other letters to zero except the O. Great, and I'm going to move towards the P. And lastly, for the E. Great. Now, here's the uh, letter that we have. Okay, now that we have set the opacity for each letter, it is time to animate it. So to animate it, I'm gonna, for example, select the D letter, and then I'm gonna right click on it. And in time, I'm gonna select enable time remapping. So basically now this animation is repeating over the time. So we can uh, control the timing of our animation. So I'm gonna go towards one second, and then I'm gonna set a keyframe. I'm going to go towards the two seconds. I'm going to set another keyframe and then I'm going to go towards the three seconds. And then I'm going to set, I'm going to set another keyframe. So let's just delete the last keyframes because we don't need it. And let's also set the time indicator on three seconds. Now, since I'm working on 24 frames per second, I'm going to go on 12 frames, which is half, uh, half a second. And then I'm going to select the time remapping and I'm going to increase the time to one second. So this time when it goes into 12 frames, the animation just jumps for uh, one second. And then on one second, I'm, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to set the timing into four seconds, four milliseconds, sorry. So let's just also set the first keyframe on three milliseconds. So this goes up a lot for a better preview. And then it goes down. And then one again, it goes up on one seconds and 12 frames. I'm just gonna set it on two. And then on two seconds, I'm gonna set it on five milliseconds again and then again on 12 seconds and 12 frames i'm gonna set it on three sec and then i'm gonna copy the first keyframe and i'm gonna paste it in here for a loop so we will have this animation So right now, as you see, the movement are too linear. So I'm going to select the keyframes and then in keyframe assistance, I'm going to select easy ease. And now I'm going to press shift plus F3 to go towards the graph editor. And then I'm going to select the middle keyframes and I'm going to adjust them like this. So now we will have an animation like this.
so that's good so what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna add the loop expression in case we need to extend our time and so what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna select the time remap i'm gonna press ctrl plus c and then i'm gonna paste it for the remaining letters So now here's going to be our animation. But as I have mentioned earlier, we need to create an offset between each letter, which right now, this is going to be easy. So I'm gonna create three frames offset between each letter. So for example, I'm gonna one, two, three. I'm gonna set the O letter on here. And then I'm gonna go for the P. So also let's just, uh, you know, change the layer orders in here we have some issues in here so i'm gonna select the p letter and then i'm gonna go one two three i'm gonna set it on here and lastly one two three i'm gonna set the e frames on here so now let's watch So now as you see, it looks really good. Now it is time to customize and stylize our animation. So what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna select the D letter and then I'm gonna right click on it. And in layer styles, I'm gonna add a stroke. Now let's go towards the stroke panel. Let's set the color to black. Let's change its size to 10 and also let's paste it for the alter letters so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go towards the project panel and this time i'm gonna add a new composition and i'm gonna call it stroke and i'm gonna add the pre-compose animation so let's add the i think it's a design one so i'm gonna add the design comp in here and then what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna add the tritone effect and let's just change its color to a red color for the first one oh, this seems good and let's also change it change the mid-tones to a blackish color and also let's change the shadows to a pure black color and now what i want to do for the next step is that i'm gonna add a new stroke effect again so let's go towards the layer styles and add a stroke effect and this time let's increase it to 30 and let's just change its color to a yellow color and now what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna right click on the new uh, empty space in here and I'm going to create a new composition and then I'm going to call it final and now let's bring the stroke in here so let's press ctrl plus y to create a background so that seems good now in asset folder I have five textures that I'm going to use for this project so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring the first texture in here so I'm going to change this mode to add. So it's a bit bright. So let's change the opacity to uh, 50. Okay, this is good. And now I'm going to bring the second one. Also, let's just 
set this one into add as well but I'm gonna add the levels effect and then I'm gonna increase the um, black channel to get, to get that uh, paper texture and this time I'm gonna add the third one and also this one I'm gonna set it on add again and let's just add the fourth texture and these are just basically a bunch of textures and we are using the uh, mm, uh, you know modes in order to make it customized and lastly I'm going to just add the last texture and I'm going to set it on multiply so this will be our final result and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.